Stephen Larson is an attorney who represents one of creepy porn lawyer's former clients. He's pushing for CPL to be disbarred for what he did. He joins us now. Mr. Larson, thanks very much for coming on. Um, Thank you, Tucker. Can, can you tell us what about his behavior, in your view, uh, warrants disbarment? Well, my view is shaped by 30 years as a lawyer here in the state of California. I've been a judge, I've been a prosecutor myself. For the last 10 years, I've been in private practice. The legal profession means the world to me. And at the core of the legal profession is honesty, trust, transparency, accountability to our clients. And for someone to do what Mr. Avenatti is accused of doing, not just by us, but now by the State Bar of California and two U.S. attorney's offices, is beyond the pale. It threatens our justice system. It threatens the rule of law. It certainly threatens the, to shape the public's view of your profession, which raises the obvious question, why hasn't he been disbarred already? I mean, just watching this on television, it was clear that the guy was a fraud and a menace. Well, our, our justice system depends on our process, and the process is being played out. Mr. Avenatti has not been convicted. He has not been found guilty. But just this week, the State Bar of California filed papers uh, seeking to have him move to an involuntary inactive status. They can only do that when they are convinced by clear and convincing evidence that he is a threat to the public or his clients and that they believe that they will be successful and that the success will lead to disbarment. So it's a pretty unusual step for the state bar to take. Again, that hasn't been decided by the courts. It's working its way through the process. Part of our rule of law is people are innocent until proven guilty. We are confident that that's what the evidence will show and that's what will happen, but we do need to await the process. Has, has he offered any sort of defense? None. We have not seen anything come forward and he's had the opportunity to do so. In fact, we brought an arbitration proceeding pursuant to our contract with our client and him. We brought it before jams. We wanted to have the arbitration. It required him to pay the arbitration fees, which he has refused to do. Uh, we're now planning to dismiss that and move forward in the state courts, which is our right to do. Uh, he's doing, from our perspective, everything he can to delay this. Again, it's within his rights, but at the end of the day, we are convinced that justice will prevail. Can, can I just ask you a broader question I can't resist? So you seem like a man of integrity and a serious person. You've been a prosecutor, a judge, private practice uh, attorney. Most people don't like lawyers, not because of people like you, but because of people like CPL. There are a lot of sleazy lawyers out there, and almost none of them ever get disbarred. Do state bar associations, why don't they do something to improve the quality of lawyers? And maybe that would help all lawyers. Well, there's no question that we as lawyers, and we regulate ourselves to a large extent. I mean, the state bars are made up of lawyers. We are largely a self-regulating profession, and we need to do a better job of that. The vast majority of lawyers, Tucker, are good people, and they're committed to the rule of law. Our yeah. judges, our lawyers, I think, by and large, in my experience, are good people. But it, given the sensitivity of the position, given the importance of the position of lawyers, uh, one bad apple or a few bad apples can wreak havoc in the system. We do that need is, to do a better that is job totally of regulating true. and policing. Yes. Nicely put. Mr. Larson, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you, Tucker.